It's Tomb Raider Tuesday! <laughs> gone to hell. Tomb Raider Tuesday has gone to hell. Hell. Just pulling up comments here. Creepy music already. It's great. Love the makeup. Super cool. We are going to diminish the video. Welcome, dude. Rod here. Hey. Hey, dude. I dudes for Wednesday. Oh no. Wow. So, I guess my headphones have just completely taken a poop. They died. Oh, thanks. Aw. <laughs> Dimash just gave me his headphones. Hey, hey, enjoy and good luck. Thanks, people. So, I was just saying to everybody, hello, welcome, and thanks for sticking around through the headphone <laughs> snafu. Thank you, Dimash, for the rescue. And here, let's see. Where is... I'm playing Hello Brain. Wee! I'm not sure we actually goes along with this game, but you know. There you go, Rod. That's for you. Here's for Moose. There, that's good. And I'll do it on my own. <clears throat> my own, I think, Mr. Meeseeks, did you do it? Did he do it? I don't think he did it. Yeah, Mr. Meeseeks is slacking today. Mr. Meeseeks was like, what? No Tomb Raider. I'm out of here. Hi, Mighty Monarch. I love this game. Oh, cool. I've never played it. I'm very excited. Mia's here too? Oh, there she is. My eyes couldn't, my eyes cannot read all the time. <laughs> cool. Well, welcome guys. I'm very excited. I know very little about this game so yeah here we go ready let's do it thanks all for being here I hope your day's going good I am coming out of a week of high anxiety I'm not feeling the high anxiety anymore other than, I mean, actually the smoke has blown out for a few days, so we can actually see the mountains, and the air is nice. That reminds me, if it's nice enough, I want to open the windows and get some fresh air in the house. Hello. Oh, but yeah, this should be good. safe with 
me. I'll be right here, nice and close, so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What? What's happening? Oh. Head is breathing. Yes. Oh, I suppose I should warn everybody this is a graphic game. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. It has like a gore rating and all that. Come back. Come back. Come back. It's not safe. Don't go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. It's not safe. I don't think she's gonna go back. Hey, that was a dude's voice. That wasn't the girl. So I'm not playing it, just so everybody knows. <laughs> you will see them. The drowned. The sick. The slain. Here they lie, rotting in the fields and rivers of hell. Yeah, are the we dead in hell? Don't always lie still here. Uh oh, oh no. They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? Is, is, they're watching. is the, the they're watching us? They're watching us. Hi Lobos, what's up? So nice. Ooh, looks like fun. <laughs> Can you feel it? I feel like I'm living in Silent Hill. Yeah, it is. It's freaky. What is she thinking? Or like the mist, that movie. I can tell you. I'm already psychologically you challenged. Wouldn't you be? Yeah, this this game also had a warning about get used to it by now the seven, portrayal yes. of mental psychoses being conducted with research things. from actual people who study that. So. They're not just like trying to make fun of crazy away. people, I guess. Is what they're trying to say. There, just out of sight. And I'm I'm not we either, I'm sorry, vulnerable. I don't just mean to generalize. It's like it knows Mental health is very serious mind. and I think that everybody should get therapy. No I, I might need therapy now. at the end of this game, to be quite frank. <laughs> just kidding, I'm fine. <laughs> no no, everybody uh, everybody should talk to somebody. Sometimes. I love the game, but it's very intense. It's you like navigating the rat lickers in town. <laughs> Hi, Jonas. Hey, guys, time. there's Jonas. <laughs> He's still stuck out in the smoke, dude. Oh, man. You got to watch our podcast from this last Sunday. Oh, yeah, our field agent Jonas is in the house. <laughs> there's Dimash. Hi, Dimash. Jonas. 
you got to watch our podcast from Sunday. We made jokes with you as the character. <laughs> I mean, that was you uh, in the field researching the smoke for us. <laughs> yeah, this is like navigating the rat lickers. This is just like downtown where we live. Bring out your dead. Clink. Bring out your dead. What is she looking at? No, no, no. She crank. <laughs> Great. I know what she's thinking. Well, hi to everybody. Thanks for coming. Don't forget to hit the like button. It's not too late. While to you're here. Go back. Oh, she looks very distraught. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. She's like, get out of my head. You can't do it. If anyone pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering, there's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. So she's got a skull on her belt. Not clear on whose skull it is yet. Probably someone she likes a lot. So is that like what it's like inside this girl's Use head? Eyes. Use your eyes. All the time. Come on, closer. She can't focus. Why, Why can't she look focus? focus? Take a closer look, Zemma. I'm looking. What do I press? There's an S. There we go. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. Do not forget my story, Senua. Oh, jeez. Nice because guy. Your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to hell goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Should I have been paying attention to all of that? Dude, it's getting darker. I don't like it. Terrible. Not this time. Did you see it? Oh. Hi, Moose. What was it he said? The yeah, the game is freaking you out. I know. Which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Helheim. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Oh, 
There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. Dillian. Yeah, the surround sound in the headphones is great. It's like the voices are coming from all around me. And sometimes she's right there whispering in my ear. It's what crazy. Is she doing? Why is she doing this? Why doesn't she turn back? So, so far, I can only really do R2. Oh, there we go. L1 is running. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be a... The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets, too. This is the bridge to Hell. I thought it would be, like... But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. Oh, that part know. wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said that See, shall we? Ooh, Manfish Magpie. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Oh, who put us up to this? Who is this guy? Shouldn't he be busy doing family feud beeb beebs? It's Stephen Hartley? Is that Sean Bean? Oh, I see. Game is on. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sean Bean, man. We were just watching Fellowship of the Rings last night. What a great treat of a treat of an actor he is. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Right? Am I right? That's what he said. Quickly, Tom, quick. Yeah, the sound is really great. Just <laughs> how it's all directional and stuff. Fish magpies hell. <laughs> have you seen Sharp? I have not seen Sharp. Don't kill me. I'm not one of them. Don't listen. Don't kill me. I'm not Sean Bean. I find I live longer that way. Don't listen. I'll never let the bastards catch me again. Never! Wait. <gasps> Giant spider. Tell 
Hmm? Stories again, old friend. I'm listening. Okay. The, is the, seal that gets to hell. the woman's voice but reminds me of the actress who plays you Drusilla in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You have to take a closer look to see. Why didn't she focus in? She needs to focus now. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Okay. Okay, it's pee pee. It's I have to remember pee pee. Okay. It's near. Focus. I realized last night that Sean Bean meme is incorrect when he's making the hand gesture in the meme. He's actually describing the ring. Simply walk line is a few seconds before the hand gesture, right? Exactly. Yes. Agreed. Oh, whoa. I can see it everywhere now. Okay, I can't see it anymore. Do I need to be in this area? There. Look towards the gate. The gate. Mm -hmm. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's what? Dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It works. <laughs> What kind of magic sorcery is this? I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the new fellow. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Who's the Northman? You fun. Another voice joins us. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. What is that? But we are always here. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Hmm. All right. So we're going to go see Kate Blanchett. Well, what's this? What's down there? Jeez. Why don't we just come up that way? Oh, it's looking across the bridge we're about to go on. Look at that. Very cool. 
Um, or this is a dead end. I can't see a friggin' thing. Let's see. I guess we are going this way, huh? I mean, the the game told me to turn it way down. I maybe it's my TV. Well, yeah, I guess it could, the TV could be more backlit, but the game is just dark. Yeah, I think the game is just dark. Let's try to get this a little better for me, but that's just my old eyes, I suppose. of Hela herself, the half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Yeah, it's me. You took him from me. Oh, no, I didn't. No, not me. I thank you. Let him go. Uh, does she think I'm Hella? I'll give you what you want. I won't resist anymore. Uh-oh. What? Just give him back. What? What does Hella want from her? Oh, dang! is happening. Don't. You did this. 
What the heck? Okay, so she just got like crazy demon arm. And now she's a good sword fighter. Or did I die? Did she die? I killed her. A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rocked. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. Oh dear. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Okay. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. What? If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. And all progress will be lost. Whoa! Okay. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. Now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Hmm. Permadeath. Popping in to say hi, drop a like, and say goodnight. All good night, Galarak. I don't recommend this before bed. So, behind the gate to Helheim. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, mm -hmm. and the god of illusion, Van Raven. Spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. <laughs> okay. Uh. It won't open. She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two the gods. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice and the first giant was born and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became oh, thanks, a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow. But you weren't expecting that. A cow? A car? Car or a cow? I don't know what he said. Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. What? Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. Without it.
Yeah, it's like I set the game too dark. I wonder if I can change that now. Or the gamma. Yeah. Sorry, it says, you know, always do it till it's barely visible. Well, I don't know, man. That's better. A little bit. It's just a dark game, I guess. Love the sky. It's pretty. It's a pretty game. It's pretty linear. I guess the whole permadeath aspect is one thing. Illusion hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. Something round up there. Friggin' open. It's funny. We all want to see behind the veil, don't we? But once we do, we mostly just close our eyes again and pretend what we saw was never really there. It's my was the sound cutting out a little bit there for a second, guys. This guy again.
shoot. I've got people behind me. Did it. Done did it. Men will not stop her. She will find what she's looking for. Ooh, the combat looks intense. Yeah. I mean it mostly feels like they just don't want you to spam anything. I'm trying to figure out cool combos. Seems to be the thing. Alrighty. Valravan's power of illusion comes from ravens, allowing the ravens to break his magic sieve. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Allowing the ravens. Okay. I'm seeing to break the sea. Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Mm. Okay, I see him up there. That's what I see. But... Is there a person up there? What is that up there? So, I can't just like jump up on a thing. I thought maybe these ropes were glowing for a reason, like I could climb them. Doesn't seem to be able to be climbed. What is this? What is why are you glowing? What is this thing doing? There's like a person right up there. All right, those are on strings. I don't seem to be able to adjust the string. Goes from there to over there. There's just a way to look at this. There's an angle. That brings them all together. There's no buttons. I did forget there was a run for a second. Hmm. Okay. I'm good at puzzles. I'm good at finding big holes in walls, too. Jeez, oh, peas, oh. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. That was embarrassing. <laughs> I 
It's not a person. He did seem to be looking around before, though. It's like, look through there. Just about. There. Ba bam. I'm so smart. So smart. Why the doors all gotta be so big? Do you feel it too? It's like crossing into another world that looks the same but feels different. When I walk through the world, where the forest itself is watching. Alright, another door. who make it back are forever changed. Hmm. She can get up now. Oh. What's happening? She can get up now. 
There's a bridge across in this crazy world. A trick. Can we just drop off the front of that it's thing? Not, I gotta it's find out. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. And if we walk back through it, it'll be gone. No, we can't just drop down. That's too bad. Yeah, I feel like this game would be not great for people with sensory overload. <laughs> I'm doing alright. It's definitely jarring. Hey, Subcypher, what's up? Welcome. Be warned, this game is graphic and sensitive. Watch scene play this game. It's incredible. Oh, cool. Right on. Yeah. I am enjoying it so far. Pretty intense. Oh wait, I've got the stairs here now. Lovely. Okay, there's a different way. Find your own path. Hmm, okay.
area just looks weird. <gasps> I knew it. Oh shit! He got her! Oh jeez! How do I heal? Is there any healing? What's up with this game? And the lack of healing. Shisa. What the hell? Oh. My God. Cheebus. Ah, oh, Cheebus. You heal if you survive. <laughs> uh, okay, is there any, like, and I, ah. Uh, I'm also totally turned around now. I came from there, right? No, I came in under the thing. That's what happened. Emir was a frost giant, a being of darkness. And all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife. And they had three sons. Odin was the eldest. And the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods. The old father. Hmm. I love... Yeah, I love the... The mythology the, along the way is nice. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. So are we back where we were? We went around? We did. We went around. I think. Oh, very helpful. It's pointing. Hmm, okay, no stairs. Wait, this is where I came out of, right? This is where I came out of. Yeah. Oops. Had a rough day, but looking forward to some fun tonight. Right on. Teach you to 
block and use combos and such you'll get it right. I have faith in you. So the yeah, I'm I was guessing I'm still like tutorial portion of the game ish tutorial. Hmm. This game is interesting. Two of them. The sun. Two spots. It's over here. It's over here. It's that. It's like that. Look, it's here. There's two. Listen, focus. Listen, focus. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic. This reminds her of something. The forest. Where? Which forest? The wilds. She left the wilds. She went to the wilds a long time. Why did she go to the wilds? She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own darkness. Did she beat her darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd be dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry Dillian. But, but she didn't thought, work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Right. Druth helped her. How to... Okay, one's up there. And one's over there. And they're both difficult to get to. So it seems. change anything. Yeah.
Okay, so then it's got... So I need the wall there to walk. Oh, I'm being silly. I think I just figured it out, but... Yeah. Silly, silly me. Hi, Inside. What's up? Excellent choice for a game. Many chat. Yeah. Uh, I think Rob was the first person to suggest it to me. With much encouragement from Tom. And of course, you know I love a good uh, female-driven storyline. This is pretty cool so far. I'm liking it. This totally reminds me of nightmares I've had. <laughs> She 
remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on and kill that which had become. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of men was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Emir's big curving pine bars as walls. <laughs> This game was developed by a small indie developer named Ninja Theory. Hard to believe less than 20 people worked on it. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, my other headset died, and this is the really crappy one, so I don't even know if the sound is any good. So hang out. Hang out for a second. I might have a backup battery here. I'll be right back. Alright, <laughs> I am now in the Mashes. Very nice headset. <laughs> My volume up? Oh. Alright. So Dimash is a little quieter in this headphone. Is that going to be... So, is that... Yeah, hi. Um, how's that sound? Is that better? Okay. Hi, Tom. What do I think so far? It's great. It's exciting. It's interesting. It's definitely a bit spooky. Sounds good. Thanks, Bob. I'm having so much headphone difficulty, but it's cool. I got it figured out. Okay, so I don't know, but that does that do something to over there?
Maybe this is another mind bridge. Looking back, I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow, the smallest hints of shape, sound, thought in strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew it, the darkness had her in its claws. Broke. The gate is open. Open. She did it. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill her. Yet. Yeah. I'll know at her. Hiding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Don't die too often. Trust me on this. Oh yeah, I got that figured out. I, I mean, I understood what the game was saying. <laughs> yeah, bad to die. Or the whole game goes to the poop pot. I knew it. It's a trick. This definitely looks like a battleground, though. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called 
Finden. The Northman captured Finden's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. When he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon? Burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. And Druth was born. Oh. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Is that it? There's gotta be more. Uh... What does that accomplish? Back in this, No idea. Tricks are for kids. She hasn't been attacked for a while. I know. I'm kind of expecting one soon.
There we go. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? Did I just die? I just died. Why did I die? Was I going too fast? Don't, no. Lady? Don't die, don't die, please. No, come on now. What the hell? Oh, no, no. I don't even know what the heck I'm controlling here. Other than to maybe just not go fast. Ugh. I don't think that should count as a death. The void that may be this time. Is the bird is eating you! Come on, kill it! But there, in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 I see you. I see you now. You let me to the wilds. You trapped me there. Oh, not fair.
see. I don't know how to dodge. Uh. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge. So. Uh. I thought there was a dodge. I can't seem to find it. Ah, jeez. So tap X to dodge. going well. Defend yourself. 
está. Here, you asshole. Ugh. I hate him so much. Ugh. Strong quarter that guy. The mark of Valraven, one of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. Oh, she pissed. 
she's pissed like I am. <laughs> well, there we go. It's open. I thought I had to go fight the other door guy. Interesting. Wait, no, this is where I fought the crow dude. All right. There we go. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the plants. And then she saw them. Lucy. Shifting faces. Hi, KJ, what's up? Well then, Maddie, remember you have five weapons block, parry, dodge, attack, and mirror. Thanks, sub. Yeah, I sort of figured that out. Um, or stick a sword in his beak. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just kind of tough to figure out in the moment. But I did. There you go. Still not sure I know the best order in which to use those, but I'll get there. I was starting to figure it out. I wonder. Can you see the faces too? They're there. If you look for them. Ooh. Mother. There's a face. Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Aww. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. Those crow enemies are the exact thing I imagine the Razak looked like from Aragon. Very cool. Oh, neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we are back at the door. In the burning building of ashes. Yeah. <gasps> oh, dude. Dude. Oh, he's dead. Oi. Get 
out from around them, yeah. Challenge the other person, that's right, that's right. The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. But oh, we already listened to that one. Yeah. The ah, hi, Flowery Squirrel, what's up? Welcome. melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice. Wow. And the first giant was born and was named Emir. The ice continued yeah. to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow, but you weren't expecting that. Yeah, that's right. He did say cow. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, this game is crazy awesome. Um, lots to think about. This, this gal's got a lot of thoughts on her mind. She really does. She's she's not doing great. She's been through a lot of trauma. And she's pretty much taking it out on everybody. Look at those look at those cold dead eyes. Oh I can't I can't do that. Can't look at my own eyes. <laughs> um so next Tuesday we will go into this door. This is the one to finally get through that door. It's a lot of doors. Oh no, don't go through it yet. Dang it, I don't want to go through it yet. Hey lady! Sort, the fire giant has answered. Well, it comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Ooh, okay, everything's on fire. The fire, the fire guy. Okay, well, we opened the door, but that is where we're gonna head next Tuesday. Dimash is gonna stream now. Dimash, what are you streaming? It's badly burnt all over. Good luck, man. Take care, everyone. Yeah, thanks, Seb. The Northmen are not cool dudes, as far as I can tell. Kind of ruined her life. Guessing they beheaded her love, and that's the love. The person, D Dillian? Dillian. Trying to find Dillian and hot, hot, hell, hellguard? Hell, hell, hellheim? I really hope we get to meet Hela, like, the goddess. That would be so cool. Dimash is playing Ghost of Tsushima next, you guys. So as soon as he gets going here, we'll do a little raidy raid. 
Hey, Joker, thanks for coming by. Yeah, look for more Hellblade next uh, Tuesday at 2. Tomb Raider Tuesdays are now, uh, we've gone to hell. We're just going to be in hell for a little bit. And Laura Croft is not here. But we've got another lady who loves adventure. <laughs> ah. There's the match going live. I see it. I see it happening. I'm going to grab the link for you all. And don't forget to hit the like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate you being here. Uh, especially if, you know, this game is intense. It's alright if you guys can't make it for this one. I totally understand. But if you're as intrigued as I am about this badass lady, we'll do more of this next Tuesday. So thanks again for being here. There's Dimash's link. We'll go for a hashtag Madfish Raid. See you in the chats. Bye.